Hello, I'm Nelson Pereira from Binet TV. Welcome to the Mobile World Congress 2012 in Barcelona. And with us is Manish Gupta. How are you doing, sir? Good, good, Nelson. How are you? I'm doing great. Actually, uh, Symmetricom is actually one of my favorite companies, uh, simply because I know them very well. And also, you guys are the key player of the industry itself. Um, back then, uh, from the TDM world to the Sonnet world, uh, your, your company was always there to make sure that timing in the network has always been a key factor. Because without timing, there's no network. It's always good to see people who know synchronization. It is, uh, you know, we call it the heartbeat of the network. And it has been the heartbeat of the network ever since communication networks have been in place. As you said, in the Sonnet world, the TDM infrastructure enabled for that delivery from the core all the way to the edge, and now the world has changed. We're seeing several movements now uh, that have changed the dynamics of synchronization. Because before, networks were only hosting uh, networks for uh, uh, carriers, not wireless to be exact, that's in the past. And that has totally shifted to the wireless spectrum of things because the back holes out there in the industry are looking at companies like yours to provide new, the solutions they have right now and new solutions. Can you talk to us about your company and how it fits in the uh, ecosystem of the wireless market? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, wireless is the driver for certainly the wireless environment, but also what's happening in the wireline environment to support specifically in the backhaul for mobile backhaul. Uh, we've seen the transition from a pure sonnet environment or STH environment to an environment today which is a heterogeneous network, com a combination of TDM, sonnet STH, or carry Ethernet to support IP traffic. This is driven primarily by two things. One is LTE and the, on the access, and second, the need for high bandwidth in the backhaul where the network is now flattening, carry Ethernet seems to be the de facto option to do that. And, and that creates opportunity and challenges in, in the mobile backhaul for synchronization. What was a simple delivery from core to the edge is now something that has to be understood on number of hops that you have, the topology, whether you have uh, pure Ethernet, you have a combination of Ethernet and TDM running on the same infrastructure, uh, and so on. So when, when the network's put in place, synchronization architecture, they have to take into account what the architecture is end to end, where the central offices are, where the S gateway in the case of LTE is located, how many hops it is to their base station, and this is macro base station. Add on top of that the complexity of the oncoming small cell architecture, which will have yet another layer of complexity and the variety of backhaul. Uh, you now have a synchronization environment that has to be very carefully networked, architected, and managed. And let me just say uh, one side from my own experience dealing with Symmetricom is that uh, the products that I have put out in the industry out there that are lasted 10, 15 years, I have products out there that are coming from your company. They have, they're still out there for 15 years, still working, still doing the job that it's supposed to do. Symmetricom is not only a company that has proven themselves in the industry, but you build things to last. Thank you very much for that, uh, for that compliment. Uh, we do strive to make sure that the heartbeat it doesn't have uh, a second heart. That's right. And, and so what we put in the network as the core of the synchronization architecture is reliable, fully carrier grade, it's redundant, it's accurate for a long period of time. So there's a lot of effort that goes into ensuring that the source of time is precise and remains precise for many, many years. On top of that, now you're talking about distributing that time from the core all the way to the edge and then applying and making the corrections that happen as the, as the core signal is transmitted from the center all the way to the edge and you see uh, packet delay variation, you see jitter, you see accumulation of errors along the way that has to be corrected at the edge, at the end point, whether it's at the cell site or whether it is embedded into a cell site gateway or in the base station itself. That's where Symmetricom is marrying its core source technology to its technology that is now at the cell site or at the very edge. And mapping the two enables a delivery of seamless experience, uninterrupted synchronization across this heterogeneous network, whether you're running TDM Sonnet or you're running Carrier Ethernet IP. Talking about Carrier Ethernet IP, um, that seems to be the new uh, standard for uh, wireless carriers and their backhaul. They're actually growing their carrier network, and as they grow it, uh, packet seems to be their preferred choice of how to implement that new network. Uh, what role is Symmetricom playing in the new packet architecture? 
So, you know, this transition has been going on for a few years now. And as that happened, we have been working very closely with the standards bodies, with ITU, with IEEE, with MEF. And, and what has emerged over the last couple of years is really the de facto standard to deliver the requirements for 3G and now with, for LTE supporting both frequency and phase. And that standard is IEEE 1588. It is uh, version 2, so certainly ratify, ratified once, and now version 2 is out there, uh, supports a telecom profile in ITU. And, and that's the protocol that we have been involved from day one. Uh, our products today support that. We have over 100 networks commercially running uh, what's known as IEEE 1588 or Precision Time Protocol, PTP, uh, running around the world in, in six continents now. So it's, it's a technology that's standards-based, it's mature, it's commercially proven, and we expect as LTE becomes more pervasive, whether it's LTE, FTD, or TDD, PTP will be the predominant protocol delivering packet-based synchronization across the network. And uh, what is new in Barcelona this year uh, in reference to, uh, I believe there's so many new announcements, so many new products coming in in, in MWC this year. Uh, it, what is new in terms of Symmetrica uh, in terms of this year? So we believe in, in really driving the ecosystem to enable the delivery of new packet infrastructure to support LTE. We have really taken a lot of effort and put in resources to enable an ecosystem which we now call Sync World. And it's in, it in, involves players all the way from semiconductor levels such as a Broadcom, PMC Sierra, Freescale. Uh, and on that category, we've announced a new partnership with a leading FPGA player called Eltera. Uh, Altera is a global supplier, it's a multi-billion dollar company uh, focused on delivering FPGA. It's a solution where our soft clock technology will be embedded in Altera's Neospace FPGA platform for base stations, routers and switches such that seamless delivery of synchronization can be enabled across the network. So that's the first piece. A second part of the ecosystem which we've enhanced now is, as you well know, IPv4 moving to IPv6. In that transition, we want to make sure that the base stations and our source, the Grand Masters of PTP, are interoperable. So we have announced industry's first IPv6 interoperability between our Grand Masters, which is, uh, and, and uh, Alcatel Lucent's E Node B. So that's the second announcement for, for the week. Which goes to show that Symmetricon is actually growing with the industry and, and they're actually playing the players right within the same spectrum. And, uh, and gives us, the viewers out there, the ability to know that Symmetricon has been in the past, will be now, and will be tomorrow in, or, in order to meet the demand of the wireless industry and all the carrier networks. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we want to make sure that what has been relied upon as the gold standard, as, as a solution that works for many, many years, uh, is, will continue to be there. We are ensuring that it is forward-looking such that the investment the operators make in our gear today is protected for the future. It can support LTE now, it can support LTE advanced in the coming years, and as it evolves, we'll be right at the top of the standards evolution, working closely with the ecosystem in Sync World, as well as the standards bodies to ensure that a vast and, and wide adoption of fair fundamental technologies happen such that their economies of scale and the risk for the operators is minimized over time. Well, Mr. Gupta, thanks so much for spending time with us. As always, I'm very happy to always talk to Symmetricon. You guys are the leaders in this industry. And um, I'm pretty sure wherever I see a cell tower or a network that is getting built, Symmetricon is going to be there to play that role. Thank you. It's my pleasure to speak with you today. And this is Nelson Pereira from Binet TV at the Mobile World Congress 2012 in Barcelona.